ABC 7 business commentator Jeff Stern just joins us now with a look at the day on Wall Street so far. And, and Jeff, we're, we're through the first half of the year. Can you give us some perspective on the markets over that span so far? Scott, that's great. And we know the first half has been super strong. So far this week, which is the beginning of the second half of 2017, S&P and Dow are down about three quarters of a percent. NASDAQ's negative as well. It's been relatively slow. As we know, it's half day Monday. We took off for Independence Day, pretty much flat for Wednesday. Yesterday had the big losses. A lot of stuff going on in the world. The G20 summit begins today, and as we heard earlier about Putin and Trump meeting, so we'll see how that all plays out and affects the markets. The job numbers came in today, but when I woke up this morning, the futures were relatively flat, so let's see how we're currently trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is at 21,388, up 68 points. A third of a percent in the positive. NASDAQ, 6,141, up 50 points. 8.5 in the positive, really leading the way again. S&P, 2,421, up 12 points, a half of 1%. And Jeff, I understand the June job numbers are in. Scott, they are in and they crushed it. 222,000. They're only expecting 172. This makes it the 81st consecutive month of gains. Unemployment's at 4.4, just ticked up a bit. Wages grew 2.5% since last year. Good work. There's one concern that's the opiate abuse, believe it or not, participant rate for average men from 25 to 54 is down 10% since its peak back in 1954. That's about 88.4% in that realm. They say there's 1.8 million workers who are out for, quote, other reasons. And of that, they said about half have an opiate issue. Then we read about some positive stuff. Per Scholas is a great program. It's a non-for-profit that helps a lot of these people get in the technology world. It teaches them. There's no fee for it. They can average about $45,000 or more after the class is concluded. And that's great because some of the top companies out there, again, are the Googles, the Apple, the Microsoft. Even some of the financial companies and the consumer discretionary companies are strong, and they are hiring in the technology sector. So, Scott, the jobs continue to grow. Very positive information. There's a lot of good programs to help continue that process. So. Good work, America. All right. Jeff, thank you so much for the update. Have a great weekend, Scott. You too.